a mafia-related law enforcement search stretching from New York City to the Orange County suburbs. The FBI and NYPD using diggers and hand tools to search two farms, one of them yesterday's, a, a rather in Campbell Hall, a second farm today in Goshen. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live there tonight with details and reaction. Tony. Maurice, this is Hampton Road in Goshen, a quiet road that dead ends into busy Route 17. Investigators with the FBI and the NYPD have been here all day, and highly placed law enforcement sources tell CBS2 they're searching a 46-acre horse farm as part of a probe into the Gambino crime family. Farm goats seemed curious about the law enforcement visitors who fanned out across the property at 51 Hampton Road in Goshen. 2.30 Wednesday afternoon, a digger arrived. A source tells CBS2 the FBI and NYPD are looking for, quote, contraband. <laughs> it tells you a bunch of things. Retired NYPD detective Tom Howell happens to live across the street from the site of the search. This could be guns, could be bodies, could be drugs. Who knows what's in there, you know, if there's anything. We've learned two Orange County properties are being targeted as part of a probe into the activities of the Gambino crime family. The second, 15 minutes away in Campbell Hall. You'll have people pulling up in cars, getting out with shovels, and walking over here. Jesse James Figueroa provided these pictures of Tuesday search activity at the Campbell Hall farm. Some investigators had metal detectors. Neighbors say odd activity happened here at all hours. People meet at weird hours of the day at the end of the driveway. You hear strange noises and have bright lights inside the barn at night. And you may recall that just last week, 10 alleged associates of the Gambino crime family were arrested on extortion and other charges. It's not clear if or how searches this week might be connected to that prior court case. Ownership of both properties here in Orange County traces back to an address in West Islip in Suffolk County. Live in Goshen, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tony.